Welcome to Great Talk and Entertainment. I'm your host, KJ, and this is the podcast where we review movies and TV shows and all your favorite superheroes, including Marvel Comics and DC Comics and much more. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Great Talk and Entertainment Official Channel. Now, let's go, baby! Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful day, and I hope you have a great Memorial Day weekend, it's coming up ahead, and I just want to thank you guys so much for just tuning in, so before we start, I just want to say, if you guys could, hit the thumbs up, because that would help my channel grow, help me get more subscribers, and you know, it would just be so, I'd appreciate it so much, now, I'm going to do a non-spoiler review for the new movie, Air, which you can see on Amazon Prime right now, or if you're a Prime member, obviously. <laughs> now, this is a non-spoiler, so if you not have not seen it, but and if you obviously if you're aware of Air Jordans, um, and you're just curious about how the history is and how all it came about, this is the film, and if you're not sure, let me be the one to convince you to go check this out. I think you will enjoy it and just appreciate it whether you rock the shoes or not. Let's get into it. The movie Air tells the origin story of how the most famous shoes called Air Jordan started. You won't see any of the actual Michael Jordan in this film, but you do feel his presence throughout this whole film and you will see an amazing cast put on an amazing performance especially from the actor Dylan Davis who played the mother of Michael Jordan and and she carried this film with her amazing performance like she always does I, every time I see her in a movie she just kills it she is amazing she's good at what she does and she can play any type of character and make it believable she can mess with your emotions I mean she is so good and every time I see her name or see her in a trailer I just know the movie's gonna be good like you can bet on that and I tell you what if it wasn't for her I I may lose stop paying attention to this film because honestly if it wasn't for her like I just I just couldn't really enjoy this movie and I enjoy seeing everyone in this of who of the actors who portrayed everybody who was in Nike who helped come up with the idea and design of this shoe and honestly it was really awesome and there were some interesting facts and a lot of this is some true but a lot of this is not true um which I'll I'll get into that after this review if you choose to keep on listening <laughs> and but it was really cool just to see those people who at that time worked for Nike's a shoe company who believed in Michael Jordan and knew that he was going to be and is the greatest of all time. But again, I just think this story was amazing. I think this is just something from if you if you just knew or grew up during the Michael Jordan era of or just the era of that basketball era from the 80s to the 90s I think you will really like this because the whole film with well, the way people dressed and the way they shot this and the cinema photography part it felt like that year or era of basketball and you know again this was between the 80s like 84 to like the 90s or early 90s or whatever maybe like 90s i don't know but anyway it just it just felt like that the way the cars were driving the way they wore their clothes the way their hairstyle was and obviously this was during the time of a young michael jordan and it was just really cool seeing this and There was some difference again, but it's not a lot. And and I just think it's still, this movie stays, has a lot of true facts about 
how this shoe was. And again, this was really like Ben Affleck's one of his best films. Obviously, it's one of my all time favorite films by Ben Affleck is Batman v Superman and Justice League and all that. But I think Ben Affleck killed it. I, you know, I can't, it's hard to, when I see Ben Affleck, I just, it's just hard to imagine him doing any other film where it's like serious but he has a very comical goofy side i know he has but it's, it's just hard for me at his age to see him do that but to see him with curly hair and that like blondish highlights that was really funny and cool and but again he played you know the guy who kind of started nike and all that and I just think they did a great job but and again this was uh, I think I think anybody of any generation should watch this film because it, especially basketball players especially you're into basketball especially you're into like collecting shoes this is the film you should be watching like I really highly recommend this film it's really good very like inspiring very inspiring because like Again, this film shows that, you know, a lot of, you know, this is wasn't like Michael Jordan. This is the year when Michael Jordan wasn't what Michael Jordan is now. You know, we're not, this is the time where they weren't debating if he's, if he's the greatest of all time. They weren't debating if he can beat LeBron James. You know, this is, this is way before all that, obviously, but this is really cool. I think anybody. Again, I think anybody who doesn't even watch basketball but knows who Michael Jordan is will really enjoy this film because, again, this is a really good film and it has everything in it. It has, you know, again, I hate to bring this up, but it does have some things that are not true, but it's not like a complete lie. They just changed it up to keep the movie as long as it needed to go. But it's still straight to the facts still true it, you, it it just explains of how this shoe deal became and it is awesome so I'm definitely saying watch this film like it is worth it so I'm going to do the top 10 things that um that they they did right and they did wrong from true facts to false facts so if you feel like this is a spoiler review just pause it watch the film then come back and finish this so here we go now in this film it talks about so if you ever wonder why how this the slogan the just do it it which which is uh the nike's uh little you know catchphrase just do it is right um obviously they were inspired by a guy named gary gilmore now he, he's obviously a uh somebody who who died on death row but uh he was it was inspired not because of his criminal criminal things that he did but the idea when he was on uh, death row he said let's do it or just do it but that's where they kind of got the inspiration uh they obviously you'll see a commercial of an old guy who was running and says i just do it you know um number two Vakra gambled on the job is wrong. He he actually stopped uh, gambling uh, when he got this job at Nike, and they said the only thing he betted on was Michael Jordan uh, when he, when they came up with this idea of this shoe. So that was the only that's the only false thing because in this film they kind of portray uh, Vakra uh, gambled a lot during the job, but that's not true. So. Uh, number three, Jordan wanted a car, which that is true. I don't want to spoil it uh, and tell you what type of car he wanted, but it was it was the hottest car in that era, and he wanted it. So he, he did get a free car in this deal. Uh, number four, Jordan wanted to sign with Adidas. That is actually correct. He was actually a fan of the jumpsuits. But obviously, if, if you know the history of Adidas and the founder of it he was kind of like associated with hitler and the nazi youth and all that and i think he passed away so that company was going through a weird change and they just felt like michael jordan wasn't the right one because again this was one of not 
then nobody considered Michael Jordan like the greatest at this time of the year. Um, but he was again, he was a fan of the jumpsuits, and honestly, I am a fan of the fan of the jumpsuits of Adidas. Um, number five, Fox takes the credit for the Air Jordan name, which is to uh, which is correct. Uh, David Falk, he's the guy that kind of like was coming up with the names of like what they should call this shoe. And obviously, Air Jordan was the one. You know, they probably try like Michael Jordan. They probably try some other things, but I think this one just hit on it. And it did take time for them to grow on that name. So that's very true. Uh, number six, the NBA 51% rule was correct. So, um, at this time, it's hard to it, nobody. It's hard to believe it now because it's like been such a long time, right? But there was a rule where you can only wear all white shoes. And that was a, a big deal because uh, they would find you. But uh, Nike was the first one, and Michael Jordan as well, to rebel against this, to, to say no. Nah. Because, like, I think in the late, I think in the beginning of 2000s, they, 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 the NBA's of that rule kind of went away in a way because now, like, you see any basketball player in different wear any type of shoes, any colorful shoes. So I think that just went away because of, you know, Air Jordans because the first one was all black. It had a lot of red, a lot of red, red and black. That, that's what I meant. Uh, number s- uh, seven, Valkyrie pitched straight to Jordan's parents is wrong. He did not fly solo. David Falk, F A L K, uh, he called the parents first, and they they then they agreed to have an uh, an arranged meeting, an arranged meeting. So he didn't just get in the car and fly to where uh, you know North Carolina. Like it, it just went. That's not true. Uh, number eight, Jordan underdog status is very correct. So you know again. If it's considered a spoiler, don't listen to this. But the idea of this was a time where, again, Michael Jordan was not considered like top pick. They weren't. He wasn't the pick everybody was eager to grab. You know, even there's there's times in that time, especially in his college days and maybe high school days, I believe. You know, people are like, "Oh, this guy's not that tall," or he's too short compared to like others or whatever but obviously Michael Jordan has proven everybody wrong and nobody's saying that now but that was a time where he was the underdog which is very interesting now because it's hard to believe that just because of his amazing career in the NBA so and yes I am a Michael Jordan fan so um number nine Vakery did, didn't meet with Jordan until the game-changing meeting is wrong. He actually met Michael Jas- Michael Jordan first. Sorry, Michael Jordan first. And they met at a, like a restaurant. So that's very interesting because they, they don't portray it like that. But obviously maybe that's just um, the idea because, again, they don't have the actual Michael Jordan. And, and it seems they have someone that, is that looks like Michael Jordan, but it's not. So, I guess they just couldn't find an actor to play a young version of Michael Jordan at that time. So, I think that's all that was. Uh, number ten. This is the final one. Jordan's mother is the key to the meeting, and that is very true. Uh, I hope I said your her name right, Dolores. Jordan, she is the one who made Michael Jordan go to this meeting. She's the one, and 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 his and uh her husband, which Michael Jordan's father obviously uh, helped too. Uh, but her mom, his mother, really pushed for this deal, and she's the reason why that Michael Jordan gets half of the percentage every time somebody buys Jordans to this day, like. Uh, if it was because Michael Jordan was all about family and you know if, you, if they could win over Michael Jordan's mother then they can 
went over Michael Jordan in this deal, and it was the most unheard of deal anyway in that time of era. So she was she was the key thing to this film. So I really that's why I really appreciate that. Like it shows the message and positivity in it. So, but that is my review, and those are my top ten facts of what was right and what was wrong that they got in the film. And honestly, again. If I had to give one out of ten, I'm definitely giving this a ten. It's a great film, and I think everybody would like it. But that is my review. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Great Talk and Entertainment Official Channel. Subscribe. Hit that notification button. You can always be updated with all my latest content. Thank you, and peace out.